Okay, so carrying on from, uh, we're going to carry on passing the guard, but we're going to look at a, an idea first that might make it easier. So rather than looking at a lot of different techniques to pass, we're going to look at a, a, a concept or an idea of how to pass them, using body weight and angles to try and get past frames. So we're going to use it just the arm first, it's easier to, to kind of feel the concept first. So just, just going to put one arm out first, and I'm going to put my weight in. We're going to do it with two in a second. So if, if Josh has got his arm in a strong position there, and I hold, he could hold me off, he could keep my weight away, and he could hold me. But as soon as I change my angle and switch, he's not going to be able to hold anymore. So if I force in in one direction, it's always going to stay strong. But if I change the angle of that direction, his arm's going to go weak. And then depending where he put his arm, would it say where my weight's going to shift to change the angle? Okay. So I'll do it a couple of times, just put one arm and let him kind of feel. Just one, I guess, sir. And just feel the different position you can put in, but then as quick as you can get to two. So you might put one on my shoulder, one on my hip. So he could, I can't just go in one direction, I've got to feel which angle I can change my body on to be able to take that away. And it puts me in a different position the next time. There we go, I've got to kind of collapse forward. So just let him hold your weight, make sure again he's holding me off completely, and I've just got to change my angle so that doesn't hold me anymore. Okay, so he does a different position every time. Okay, but well, make sure, obviously, if he's, if he's not strong, strong enough to hold you, make sure he can hold you first. He can take all my weight, I can almost set my feet off the floor, and I'm not going to go as soon as I start to turn. He can't hold it anymore. So just do that first and feel it, and then we're going to go back into guard and use the same idea with the legs as well as the arms. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we'll move that into actually passing the guard and use that idea in a practical sense. So one of the positions people struggle with the most in terms of passing, I think most people tend to ask about is getting past this knee shield. Whether it's half guard, yeah, as you do. Whether it's half guard or a foot on the hips or fully in guard. Because we've been working guard pass around this half guard strip and we'll, we'll do it from here. So he's got the foot on the hip and the knee shield. For now we're not going to bring the arms in, we'll do that in the next drill. So we've just got two frames to deal with as we're coming in. So the first step, I want to make sure my weight's not on my knees. So I can't do this with my weight on my knees. I can't just, just stay strong right there. I can't just try and smash his legs down without giving him any pressure first. Same as if when he was using the hands before, I can't just <laughs> do that and get past the frames. I need to get some resistance first. So the first thing is knees off the mat. So I'm immediately putting pressure in him. And then my aim, first I'm going to pass to this side, is to get my head past the shoulder on the other side. So if I'm passing to my left, I want to get to my, my head towards that shoulder and aim to get over the top. Then I'll feel the resistance and feel what's stopping me passing and be able to work past it. Okay, but again, if I don't, if I just go from here and try and smash it down, I'm not going to get anywhere. So straight away on my toes and then drive. So even if you stay strong with the legs, I can't drive right over the shoulder, I can feel where the resistance is going to be. And now I can start to use my body to start to collapse these frames. Okay? Not always going to be the same, that's the difficulty of this. That's why it's not as simple as teaching a technique where we can just look at this arm's coming through, everything step by step. I've got to feel where the resistance is. So I might have to get past the frame a different way each time. Depending on what he's giving me. So don't worry about where the legs end up basically for now. So pressure, knees off the mat, head forward. Okay, I'm not using the arms too much for now. Don't put them behind your back while you're practicing because if they <laughs> fall, you might end up headbutting them or go face first into the mat. So keep your arms there, but don't worry about trying to grip and being tight. So here, forward, then just start to change the angle. And so I can start moving around and work past his guard. Okay. Obviously for now he's not readjusting, he's not switching his foot to a different position where I'd have to do it again and keep changing like he would be. But while we're just feeling it, we can just get that idea. So he's got knee in the shoulder, and depending how far across that is, it's going to dictate where your body turns, foot in the hip on this side. Okay, so up on the toes, head towards that shoulder. Start working to the side, working around, turning the body, 
the two can work past. Okay, again, it might be different slightly every time, but just try to feel it as you move around. Okay, let's go. So again, you can strengthen that knee shield and make it harder to smash by having his elbow inside it. So a lot of people, if they're putting that knee shield in, this hand will be on the shoulder and this arm will be blocking my bicep, stopping me cross facing. So the idea stays exactly the same, it just becomes harder because we've got more to deal with. But as we said before, when you're doing this in reality, a lot of times you're going to get so far, you're going to readjust it, you've got to keep changing. It's not going to be one simple thing. So again, pressure forward, head over. And the same idea, I've just got to work my way past each frame, working towards side control. And a lot of times, especially if you end up coming inside this knee, so if this knee's open and you end up having to smash it by moving it across the body, you can end up falling into half guard. But as long as I can get chest to shoulder and I can pin that far shoulder to the mat and get close to him, I've achieved my first objective to get close, his guard's there to hold me away, stop me getting close. His close guard will be there to pull me in. Now he wants me in and wants me close. When his guard open, opens, it's there to hold me away. So once I can start to drive past and get close, even if he catches half guard, again, I'm still a step forward. Now I can start working to free that leg up, okay? But don't start half guard, make sure that foot's starting on the hip. So here, elbow inside, making this frame even stronger. Hand on the shoulder, hand on the bicep. So same thing straight away. Toes in the mat, knees off the mat, drive forward. Start shifting the angles to start getting past the frames. You see now, even if I end up in like a, almost like a closed guard, it's not so bad because I'm off on this angle, I can keep switching, keep working through, and driving to pass. Okay? So, another way to think about it, like I've said to a few people as we've, we've walked around, whatever frames he's putting in the way, I want to make sure he has to use them as strong as he can. So if I just come here, and think, oh, he's got a knee shield, he's got arm across, everything's blocking me and I start working out how to get past it. I don't know if it's there actually strong enough to stop me yet. And so I start putting pressure and I might feel that it's not even that strong enough and drive forward. But then it is strong enough. At least I'm making him use all his force to just hold me away now. So rather than being here, I'm trying to pass it, he's trying to attack. Maybe go for an arm or maybe start setting up a Kimura. Now he's thinking about holding me away primarily. He starts attacking for stuff. He's in a much worse position in terms of attacking now because that pressure's driving into him. So make sure I can't just stay loose and tap me. Everything is forcing me just to hold him away. So I've got to work to make space now. And he just has to try and kill that angle all the time. Okay? So, go back down. There, no pressure. There might not even be a frame to this. If I, sorry. Going back to what we did before. This looks exactly the same now. This what This and this look the same. Feel different, but look the same. So now if Josh drives in, oh my God, just collapses anyway. But he doesn't know that until he gives me that pressure. Now he knows that I've got a strong enough guard to be able to hold him away. Now he has to change the angle. Now, if, now he might feel he can just walk past it. But we'll make sure everything's there to so hold you away first. So make sure the uh, frames are as strong as they need to be to be able to hold you off, and then start to turn your body, cut the angle, and work fast. Okay, let's go. Okay. 